Previously on Kicking It With You, reunited with Flojo, and as the saying goes, it felt oh so good. Reunited, and it feels so good. 6.7. Ooh. God. I'm on Raven, which is Reaper's R1. Oh, I found it. Check this thing out, bro. This is a F. 350, is that a dually? Yeah, dually. Uh, 350. Dang, that's a big truck, man. I mean, it's huge. It is, man. Sheesh. Let me get this up. Probably about an eight inch lift. I don't think he can see. Oh, he probably can't. And look at this thing, bro. I want to ask how big, how big, what's his setup on this joint, bro? That is stupid, man. 6.7. Ooh, I come in like that. You can't tell me nothing. Damn. That's too much. No, it's not. God. All right, guys. So I'm on Reapers. I'm on Raven, which is Reapers R1. I'm not sure what year it is. It's loud as hell. Woo -hoo -hoo. This thing is loud. GP ship. So that's one up. One up and the rest down. God! Woo oh, I found it! Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh! Oh, this is smooth. All right, guys. Dang, this thing is loud, bro. This thing is loud. I do notice at the top, the riding position isn't bad. I'm a tall guy, so I like when bikes are tall and stretched out. Like, it fits me better. Like, a lot better. Oh my goodness, bro. <laughs> bro, this thing, bro, pop, 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 pop. So, y'all heard that? So, anyway, it's smooth. Well, I like bikes that are long and tall because it fits me better. But, yeah. <laughs> bro, but this thing sounds amazing. I'm really. Yeah, my guy. <laughs> anyway, bro. But I feel comfortable because it's long. It's a tall bike. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Dang. I got to find a clutch. Get used to the clutch on it. And find out where it's engaging at. But I feel very comfortable on it. And the seat, the seat is hella wide, bro. Like, it's super wide seat, and I like that. But I noticed that the handlebars are very, very narrow. Like, super narrow. So watch this, bumped out. I don't even think he felt it. <laughs> Man. I noticed the handlebars are like narrow. It's like it needs some bargains right here. That's just my opinion, but dude, I feel good on it. I like it. It's smooth, real smooth bike, you know, for the most part. And uh, yeah, I'm, once I get some more gas, I can talk about it here in a second. I mean, once we leave here from the gas station, I'm gonna come back out and talk about it, but I love the position. Um, it's a tall bike. You're kind of hunched over for sure. It's not crazy aggressive, but it's more aggressive for sure than like the BMW. Uh, I mean, the bars are just very narrow. Like when I say narrow, like this, they're very tight. You know, I'm used to like. The, I think the issue is more out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm vlogging. Vlogging. Yeah. <laughs> say what's up. It went quick. <laughs> Being a trooper, man. Quick been looking out for me, man. Every time with a little bike to ride, man. So I appreciate them. Uh, that go your boy can custom his ZX10. Damn. Look, oh, quick, oh, look at that. <laughs> Let's take a look. Am I still recording? It's blinking? Yeah. All right, cool. Reek, bro, this thing is loud. But if it, it pop, 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 pop. But uh, I like it smooth, though. I like it, bro. I like that joint. The seat is wide, too. And I like, I'm a, I'm a wide dude. You know what I'm saying? 
I like it so far. We're gonna see if we get up to some speed, but I like it so far. But anyway, let's go take a look at this real quick. Yeah, my God. Carbon. Ooh. I love when they put the carbon right here all the way down. That yeah. shit is dope. That is dope. Yeah. Real good, bro. Dude. It's a nice bike. Look at the. It, where's the guy? So, is this like a a smaller tank? I think it helps him get tucked a little bit better. Yeah. yeah. Does it, does it, yeah. is it less fuel? Can you put, like, is it the smaller tank? Weight reduction and better tuck. Gotcha. So, this is straight race. Full Acura. Man, it's clean. Vortex rear sets. Mm-hmm. Y'all go check them out. Canis Custom LLC right there. Any anything. It's clean. Alright guys, so now I'm back up on the uh the R1 here. Listen to this thing start up. Just listen. I love that startup seeking. Listen. God dang. Jeez, bro. This thing sounds so good. Goodness gracious. I can have this sound all day. Okay, appreciate it, Jack. Now, like I noticed the tank is way narrower on here than like the H2. Like a lot narrower. Like my knees are oh, looking pretty good. But the tank is way smaller than on the H2, of course. H2 is a bigger bike. But this thing, so my naturally with it being a, the tank being smaller, I feel like I'm squeezing more with my legs. On the H2, I just kind of fit in there perfectly. I didn't have to do any like extra movements to squeeze the tank. With this, I had a kind of force myself to squeeze the tank with my legs arm position like i said i got long arms so i like when the handle when i'm straight arm more straight arm i think compared to the h2 i do feel more pressure on my wrist let me see once we get out here and start moving around display is beautiful it has the black black when it uh nighttime you know what i'm saying and then i like the height of the bike like when i'm on a bmw like my knees are a lot more bent i'm sitting more in the bike with this one you're definitely more on top of the bike so, but yeah, that H2, man, another R1, Jixxon right there. Woo, oh my goodness, the sound of this thing, bro. Love this bike. This sound is unmatched, like Ducati sound. Like that, Aprilia Ducati and this, bro, has some of like the best sounds the most you i gonna say best the most unique sound because i actually love the way the bmw sounds not gonna lie but unique oh my goodness this thing bro they don't like low speeds though but i think it's because it's probably me it's user error it's definitely probably user error i'm not smooth because i don't know the bike now i don't see where its rpms are moving the, the rpms don't start the 8k interesting that must be like race mode God, listen to this sound. Oh, quick shift is pretty smooth. It's not a rally bike at all. It's not. It's very tamed, actually. I'll, I'll shop. Maybe in first gear it wasn't, but no. Very, very tamed bike. I like it. I like this. See, handling feels pretty good. You know, nothing crazy. Intoxicating, bro. Jeez, I love this sound. It's pretty light, too. It's actually very light. The headlights are freaking amazing. Oh, shoot. I can see like everything. Now, my arm position, uh, I do feel more pressure on my palms than anything. Like my palms on my hands here, like with my thumb and the, the fatty part of your. the revs don't come on you don't see the revs so you like 8k our reef is out of there <laughs> man I, I really do like the r1 y'all not gonna lie and 
I love to see how wide it is. started something. <laughs> yeah, my God. <laughs> Jeez, my God. I like this, boy. And this thing looks so good at nighttime, the front end, bro. lost from everybody i'm trying to slow down and let them catch up I, I really like this bike now i am noticing right now that we're riding my knees are feeling a little pressure too just a little bit not much you know but i'm just going over how the bike feels but my arms are i'm very i'm comfortable actually like, i'm really comfortable on this bike i don't feel i feel a little cramped in the leg but i'm a time six too unless i get some rear sets I'm gonna feel comfortable on every bike, you know what I'm saying? I'm mean, gonna uh, cramp on most bikes. I ain't gonna say every, most bikes, you know? to sit on every bike and see the difference in power delivery and when and where they deliver power. You know? doing this nighttime ride man because I'm really just kind of chilling. Woo my goodness boy you hear them pots when you rev match. I don't know if it has quick shift there uh it's twitching in first gear though. This thing pops like I'm crazy, bro. GP shift kind of throwing me out. I will say first gear is very twitchy, though. Ooh, I like this bike, man. I, I, I mean, uh, to me, First gear is just, it's a little twitchy, like like the abruptness when you're on the throttle. But you know, you just gotta learn how to once you I'm pretty sure once you can learn to learn your bike and learn how to manage it, like I said, this is not my bike. So you know, I don't really know it like that. Dang, this thing pops like crazy, bro.
So it's it's funny, like when I got on the uh When I got on the BMW, like I instantly felt comfortable, right? Like instantly felt at home. With this one, I feel like I at least I would take some getting used to to just really get comfortable with it, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, it, I mean, but for the most part, uh I like it. I, I really do like this bike, I'm not gonna lie. One of my favorites. The sound alone is intoxicating. I'm gonna go park it over there. Hey, you want me to take it over there? Take it over there. All right here. Hey, does it have quick shifter down? Not down. Ah. This model didn't come down. What year is it? Uh, 2017. Okay, I was like, damn, dude, it's not quick shifter down. So, Same thing. nah, it's cool. I, I, I figured it out. I'm like, I don't think this has quick shifter down. Bro, the sound of this bike. Bro, it sounds so good, bro. So good. Yeah, bro, you took off. Yeah, you was flying, bro. Yeah, I like, God damn, I retook off. Now we down in South Beach. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this is. This is Almost breathtaking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> this, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs>